Hi there, I'm Chris Kellett with Adobe Muse Website Themes and I'm here to tell you a bit about what we're doing with this site, why it's here and to tell you about our first tool, our MetaMaker tool. So Adobe Muse Website Themes, the whole idea is that uh, Muse is a great tool, a brilliant tool and we absolutely love it. We've built sites with it, lots of sites with it and we absolutely love it. So we decided that wouldn't it be great if there was some themes out there as well for it and tools specifically for the product. Now there's some other great sites out there as well. Muse Themes is another great site for which is a bit of an inspiration for us as well. But we thought well we like our designs too so why not put them out there for you guys. So that's what we're doing. We're currently building our first range of Muse themes and you can imagine the themes are going to be very much like the kind of things that you can get for WordPress, these really cool great looking themes for all different scenarios and we're going to be releasing those very soon. So first of all we'd like to ask you to uh, get the click on the get notified button and um, put your details in there and we will let you know as soon as our Muse themes are available. The other thing that we want to do here is give you widgets, uh, but we're calling them gizmos, to enhance your Muse sites and make it really easy to install these great uh, gizmos for things like Twitter and other social media services um, to extend what Muse can do for you as a small business or designer. We're also building a series of helpers or tools, the first one being our MetaMaker, which will help you to generate the content that you want to put into your Muse themes, either for yourself or for your customers, um, and really make those uh, processes, things like creating metadata for pages and so on, very quick and easy for you. So you can get the job done and move on with your next project. So first, let's take a look at the MetaMaker. Um, We've got an instruction here. Now, as you can see, it just says video there. Uh, you're watching this video from that location. This video isn't created yet, so hence I've just put a hold there until the video is made. Um, and this will give you some basics about metadata, but there's a lot more information out there. So let's go straight into the tool. So click to use the MetaMaker, and you can see here that you've got your keywords, your robots, your description, refresh. Some of these tags you won't use, some of them are important to Google, some of them are more important to Bing, but they're all useful to have within your pages. So let's go ahead and put some data in there. Now I'm just going to jump over and grab some bits and pieces that I've already created to save time. So I've got my keywords and my description. and I can't state how important it is to get your description right. Um, it is very important to do this, so so please please get your description right. Don't just put anything in there. It's a good idea to plan all your meta tags first. So we're going to go index follow. We're not going to use the refresh. We're going to use the author. It's going to be Muse website themes. Uh, the generator, we're going to put in here Adobe Muse because it would be a good idea. That tag there will... Um, is used to show what generated the page we're going to put I'm using there. Revisit, we're going to put in 30 there. Um, and then we've the other thing that we've done, we wanted to put geotags in for those of you that want to create location-based data. So I'm just going to put in an address here and I click the search and it locates me. And if I want to be more accurate than that, I can zoom in and I can move that around and it will update all of my geotags. Um, this Dublin Core Data One is useful for putting it in as well and you could put the same title in there as the title of your page, so that's a good thing. And then just hit generate and here you go. Here's your metadata ready to copy and paste into the page properties in Adobe Mu. So let's just quickly take a look at where you would do that. So I'm going to Come out of here and I'm going to open up Adobe Muse. We've got Adobe Muse open and I've got one of my client sites uh, in here. 
and I'm just going to show you how we can use that data. So if we flick back to the MetaMaker, I can copy that data from there, go back to Muse. If I go to a page that I want to add that data to, if I right click on it and I go to Page Properties, then I've got this Metadata button here, click on there, and you've got your, your keyword and descriptions. Now, you may be thinking, well, I copied and pasted a lot of data um, in, in there. So you can either you can either put your description and keywords directly in there, or if you go into the HTML for the head here, you can just paste it in there, and that will go into the head of the document as well. So you can use the description and keywords, but if you want to add the rest of the metadata in there, you can just put it directly into the page like that. Make sure that you've got a good page title. This is a working site in progress, but make sure you've got that. And that is how the Meta Maker works. Now, if you want to um, point out any um, bugs or errors in the Meta Maker, or you want us to add some more metadata tags for you into the Meta Maker tool, please get in touch with us and feel free to, to comment and, and ask us what you would like to see in this tool. And as we release more tools, we, we're really looking for your feedback because we want to make these tools really useful for you, things that you use in, in your daily life. So that's it from Adobe Muse website themes for today. Please sign up so that we can notify you when we're live and watch this space for upcoming updates. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.